Hi Sagittarius, welcome, welcome back. This is a reading for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon and Rising. Um, you might find it resonates more though if this is your Moon or Rising sign. We've got Death, Scorpio, I did see the Ten of Swords as I was shuffling, so um, you know your person could be thinking about some kind of pain they've experienced here within the connection or a painful ending. If there is a separation they're finding that difficult, um, and if it's not specifically to do with you it could be um, pain from you know their life um, around this connection or before this connection um, and because we're asking in relation to you what are their messages to you perhaps they're saying this, this um, you know this thing that I'm struggling with it has impacted our connection um, I'm also being drawn to vanilla I don't know if it's um, the flavor the scent like a vanilla bean pod or something why did I say pod in such a strange way? I think I did, I don't know. Okay, you've got the chariot reversed and we have the emperor in reverse. Wow. Yeah, I feel like your person today at least is saying they are struggling. We've got cancer, we've got Aries. Um, I don't think your person's too happy or they're doing too well in their 3D external world. Um, they may have got themselves into situations and they may have got themselves into positions of authority let's say whether we're talking about work their home <clears throat> excuse me their home life whatever it is um they're kind of in this this important pivotal position that they that they hold that they have but there's a feeling of i don't know where i go from here um or maybe they just don't want this anymore and it's like well how do i move in another direction um apologies for my cats Okay, so this person's messages to my viewers, please. What do they want my viewer to know at this time? The moon, yeah. Pisces here. And, you know, three major arcana so far. So I feel like your person's going through big changes and it's starting internally and it's like they don't know what this means for their external reality um, but they are doing lots of thinking, daydreaming. Imagine if I was in a whole different type of career. Imagine if, um, you know, I didn't have all the familial responsibilities that I have or, you know, whatever it is. But right now it does feel like daydreaming to them, you know, the moon wishing on a star, not seeing clearly how to make a change that would make them feel happier. Yeah, the, the universe in this deck, but the world reversed. Four major arcana, they're going through something big. The world is here. It is in reverse because they haven't been able to close out whatever this is that's troubling them, but something's trying to close. Let's get more um, details specifically just around these four cards so far. <clears throat> okay. Let me just... Okay, let's see. Okay, can you give us some more detail, please, about what my viewer's person is going through here? What is troubling them? What are they struggling with? What's trying to close out for them? Knight of Swords reverse. So they are struggling to speak up about this. Um, I think it's something for sure with them coming up as the Emperor that's going to impact other people. That could be one of the problems, you know, and they're thinking, okay, how do I make this change when it impacts so many other people? Really, if I'm honest, it kind of feels like work. Um, and, you know, if it's not specifically working career, let's say it's their family, it's coming through as a feeling of work. So, you know, it's a feeling of duty, but no um, emotional satisfaction here. Something they feel they should do, they have to do. Okay, let's see, the Emperor reverse, yep, Six of Pentacles reverse. Your person feels that they're giving and giving and giving and not getting back. Maybe they feel they're not getting back the recognition they had hoped for. They're not getting back the rewards in terms of joy and happiness. Um, maybe they're giving and no one else is, so they're not getting equal effort put in. have a look at the moon see daydreaming about moving on daydreaming maybe dreaming at night about you know being more free or living the kind of reality they would like to live um maybe literally moving home but wow okay let's have a look at the universe here the world reversed 
just saw the Ten of Pentacles trying to come out. I think it was reversed. I'm not sure, though, because I was actually looking at this. I saw it out the corner of my eye. Um, and we've got the colours of the chakras here from the root to the crown. And when this card is upside down, we're going in the reverse order from the root downward to the crown. So it's almost like something's turned on its head. Something here is not what your person expected it to be. Or it has been for a certain amount of time. Um, and now it's not. It's not doing it for them anymore. It's time to change. It feels like, let's stick with this example of career. It's almost like someone who's worked for years, maybe decades, um, or they've really honed one particular skill or craft, um, and they've reached somewhere around, you know, the top of this profession or sector or something, and now they've really fallen out of love with it, or they're not getting the return of, you know, um, that they used to get for their effort, their investment, and now they want to go from whatever this is to something entirely different, but in doing so, they would become a page again. And they might be saying, you know, I've got too many monetary responsibilities to make this change, or I'm, I'm too old to make this change now, or, I'm, you know, it's just too much, I'm too fearful, it doesn't seem practical. As I've paused, we have death again. Wow, okay. And it could also be a feeling of a changing community. You know, if you have become the emperor in whatever this is, you know, that we're talking about, um, you've definitely accumulated a community around you, even if you're not, you know, I don't necessarily mean a community of people that you're always talking to, but you're firmly established in whatever this is. And you understand how this area of expertise works, or if it's um, a family unit or something like that, you know, you understand the dynamics that go on. But if you want to change into something completely different, it's almost like I've got no friends or acquaintances in that area. I don't know how it works. Would I fit in? If it's if it's family, you know, if I leave, I'll be alone. It's it's that sort of a feeling. Okay, what else, please, for the universe, the world reversed, temperance in reverse. We have Sagittarius here, um, a feeling of imbalance. Everything, as I said, you know, it's been turned on its head, um, but a feeling of frustration especially with the knight of swords reversed how much longer can i remain silent how much longer can i keep just showing up and working and resenting it or hating it or feeling disappointed by it how much longer can i keep sacrificing for um, my family um, or my community um but there's an imbalance and there's just really a strong feeling of i don't know how to go about making this change that i want to make okay so let's continue with this other deck so messages please that this person has for my viewer. We have the Queen of Cups. Okay, I almost feel what we're about to see is how they view you. Okay, so this is something they're wanting you to know today. I wonder if it's going to be that, you know, they're taking some kind of inspiration from you possibly. Ace of Wands. Inspiration. <laughs> Okay, let's see. This card says energy, you know? So I wonder if they, this is someone with the Emperor reverse, Chariot reverse, who's trying to seem like they have the energy, they have the vision, they have the plan, they know where they're going, they know how they're going to get there. In actual fact, they don't really. But when they um, think of you and look at you, they, they feel like you do have an abundance of energy. And you might be saying, what a joke, you know, or you might be saying, yes, that's true. But um, wherever you fall in between or, or either end, that's how they see you. And they might also feel that they're guided by reason and logic and the binds that they have got themselves into. You are guided and led by your heart and your passion. Um, and I'm sure, you know, it's not quite that simple, perhaps, but that's how it's looking to them. Okay, let's see. We have the Eight of Swords. Whoa. And then we have the Ten of Cups. So they could be seeing you as very happy. You've got um, a community of people around you that give back equally. You're very emotionally fulfilled. This Eight of Swords is interesting. It feels like an anomaly here. So um, what I'm going to do is go back in with this deck and clarify. This, um, your person here, it's almost like they look at you as being very cherished, very loved, 
Um, yeah, look, four of wands. You've got good people around you, good people who see your value and your worth and who want to give actually more than they take from you. And again, I don't know if that's true or not, but that's what this person perceives, whereas they feel like it's the reverse for them. People want to take more than they want to give. Okay, let's clarify these cards here. Six of Wands reverse. So they might feel that you are not driven by ego. You wouldn't let your fears get in the way of making big life changes in the way that they are. So you wouldn't let your ego tell you that you're not going to be safe in making a change. You would trust your heart. You would trust your intuition. Also, if um, other people might have something to say about you making a change, you wouldn't let that stop you either. Um, for some of you, I'm going to say there could be a harsh message here where this person we know clearly, Chariot, Knight of, um, sorry, Knight, Chariot and the Emperor, both in reverse. This is someone who wants to be perceived in a particular way. They want to be perceived as successful, um, you know, stable, wealthy, abundant, um, like they've got it together, you know, and they are in a way living a charmed life, you know, the chariot follows the star. So they're very, very aware of appearances. This person might be looking at you as someone who isn't externally living the kind of life that they would say looks successful, but they know deep down that actually you're much happier than they are. So again, they could be right, they could be wrong, but this is, this is what they're saying. Six of Wands reversed. It's almost like they're saying that you don't have the level of, um, like maybe it's a status or something like that that they do but they know it doesn't really make a difference at the end of the day anyway because they're not even happy within whatever it is they have but you are um so there could be something here where they're saying that the way you live the things that you value is getting to, getting them to have a new perspective on what they have considered to be success and the things that they've wanted to go after in life because yeah there's something about appearances so let me try and ground this with examples Let's say this Emperor Reversed is interested in what their job title is and what car they drive. And let's say this person is, I don't know, CEO of something or other, just as an example. And you work somewhere, but you're not a CEO and you're not a manager. You know, you're an employee. They might be saying, well, you don't have the same level of status and yet you seem much happier than I am. Or I drive, um, you know, this particular car and and you cycle everywhere. You don't even have a car, but you're happier. Do you know what I mean? It's, and at one point they may have judged that and it doesn't have to be that at all, those examples. Um, but just so I can give you an idea, but they're looking at you and they're saying, you, you, whatever you are doing or showing or having, you seem to be much, much happier. And they have the things they thought would make them happy and they're not happy. So it's almost like they're saying, well, what does success actually mean to me? Okay, let's see, Ace of Wands, please. Yeah, see, Four of Wands, you have, you follow your passion and that leads you to stability and community as far as they're concerned they follow their ego or they have done up until this point so if you know this this you know part of the message could definitely be for you if you know your person has been prideful a bit egotistical very concerned with how they look or what people think okay let's see about this eight of swords wow ten of wands i need a few more here page of cups Ace of Pentacles, King of Pentacles reversed. So this could be someone who's saying one of, you know, they, they feel like you're a big thinker and they might be getting frustrated because they have this sense that you want to reach out to them, but you're overthinking it, so you're not doing it. Um, this can also be them saying they are overthinking, wanting to reach out to you, um, actually to make some kind of offer here. The King of Pentacles reversed. I do feel that, <laughs> excuse me, that they are at the tail end of something could be a commitment here, relationship with the King of Pentacles that is ending. I feel this King of Pentacles is one aspect of the reversed emperor. So the, the reversed emperor could be, I'm not happy in my relationship, I'm not happy in my job, I'm not happy with, with how I interact with my family. And this King of Pentacles is them talking, say, about their relationship. So I think this is one aspect of it. The thing is, though, we have the Ace of Pentacles before this reversed King of Pentacles. So it feels like they're jumping the gun a bit. And while let's say they're in a marriage or a relationship, while they're sort of untangling themselves from that or trying to accept, okay, that's over, they come towards you and say, here's an offer. So we kind of maybe would prefer it this way, you know, like they've already ended something officially completely, then they make the offer, but it's almost like there's a bit of an overlap here. Um, and that could be why they're overthinking this. Am I jumping the gun? Am I ready? Is it too soon? Is it appropriate? 
appropriate. Um, but yeah, I, I do feel this is someone who is thinking about maybe the way things were last left between you, especially if things were difficult. It's It's been weighing on them. doesn't matter how long it's been, weeks, months, years. Um, it's still a heavy thing for them to think about, you know, if things ended in a kind of heavy or explosive way. We have the Ace of Cups. So yeah, wanting a renewal here. Okay, but there's a feeling of you already have the Ten of Cups as far as they're concerned. Why would you sacrifice or risk all of this to take their Ace of Cups? And we know with Aces, nothing is promised. See, look, Ten of Cups reversed. Would you take, take a chance on them, you know, when you've got a lot to lose? From their perspective, what they have to lose is appearances, things that satisfy their ego. From your perspective, you've got genuine fulfillment to lose and they you know whatever they say whatever they show they understand that's where the true true value is okay let me put these back ten of cups please can you clarify the ten of cups king of wands hmm the Empress, Taurus and Libra energy there. So this is someone who's incredibly attracted to you. They might be feeling dead in, in most areas of their life, but when it comes to you, they are very, um, you know, passionate, full of, full of motivation and energy. Um, there is a concern, I feel, that you may, at this stage, turn down an offer for them if they were, from them, if they were to come forward, because in the past, it's maybe just been about the passion and you wouldn't want to risk the happiness you've established for yourself for this person that you think isn't reliable, trustworthy, stable. Judgment reversed, eight of wands reversed. There's a, there's a real feeling of them thinking, should I reach out, shouldn't I, should I, shouldn't I? I'm thinking about this a lot, you know, throughout the day, every day. Um, very, very keen to take action here. Let's have a look. I also feel there's something about you and this connection that reminds them of a younger version of themselves. And this doesn't have to mean they, they're reminded of themselves from 20 years ago. It could just be like uh, a year ago, two years or something like that. Um, you know, if they've gone through big life changes, even if that's happened over a short period of time, you know, and they have far more responsibilities now or something like that, Something about you and this connection reminds them of when they felt maybe more free. Um, and, and just, I don't know, I kind of want to say more confident, which sounds crazy because, you know, this person thought being this emperor would bring them confidence, but it feels hollow. So, I don't know, I wonder if they're acting out a version of themselves. It isn't really actually them, but they feel like it looks good. So they feel less confident right now. Um, yeah, Empress Emperor, you're in the upright, they're in the reverse. You see, it's like whatever you do have, um, or however you are living, um, whatever their opinion might have been about it in the past, they understand now that you are truly in alignment and that's worth, well, loads, really. Okay, so let's get into the messages and let's have a look and see. Do you know, can I, <laughs> I also have a message here that kind of sounds strange, but I've been feeling it for about, you know, from about, about halfway through. And with this Empress Emperor, we know they're two halves, two sides of the same coin, the Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine. For some of you, and you know, take this if it resonates, or if you kind of know this in some sort of way somehow, but they may look at your life and think, gosh, I wish I had that, or, or there's some aspect of your life that they wish they had. Perhaps all these people who, who seem to love you, genuinely appreciate you, and they're thinking, I wish I had that. But then you look at them maybe, I wonder, and maybe there's something about their life that you would like. Um, I feel that message less strongly, to be honest, but I don't know, maybe... Um, I don't know, I just feel maybe you look at each other and think, oh, you know, they get to wake up every day and do that for a living, I wish I could do that, or they get to wake up and speak to these people who really appreciate them, I wish I had that, I don't know, just, just for some of you, maybe. Okay, so let's get some messages to you from this person, so messages please from my viewer from their person. I feel so stupid, wow, for choosing lust over love. Okay, so yeah, they may have done that. 
Um, and maybe maybe the lost was, you know, the person they were lusting after was someone who had these things that they thought, you know, would make them happy. Um, it could be that they regret with you showing you lust instead of love. Um, you know, I also feel lust for material things. I regret letting my ego um, dictate the choices I made and the things I said or didn't do, didn't say. Um, you may not be perfect, but you're perfect for me. I'm considering moving on with a soulmate, but I, I really don't want to have to. Okay. Um, I had put you on a pedestal and made myself small. So originally the intention of this deck is that the red is from the divine masculine the blue is from the divine feminine so you can read it that way depending if you know if you want to and and if you feel like the divine masculine or feminine um i'm just reading them all right now as from your person uh, i don't care what my family or anyone else has to say i want you and nobody else I miss you so much that it feels like there is a real pain in my chest. I won't show you that though. Mm. Definitely some uh, pride going on here. Sometimes because I know we will be together, I take you for granted. Wow. So I wonder if this is them saying that and you're saying, actually, I'm considering moving on. You know, um, I don't want to, but I know you take me for granted, so maybe i will maybe i have to um and we have you make me so nervous sometimes it's hard to breathe wow You know, um, if they put you on a pedestal, and I think they still have you on one, and they do still feel that they are not, you know, as I said, reverse emperor, I'm pretending I'm great, I'm pretending I'm, you know, powerful and all of that, but I don't feel it at all. Um, but they see that you genuinely are content. That could be something that intimidates them as well. Habits, I don't know if we will ever change. Excuse my throat. I think this person has a fear as well that there is something about them that they worry will always hurt you that if you come back together you know communicate reconnect that just by virtue of who they are they will do something that will disappoint you or upset you um i don't know i just kind of wonder if this is someone who um was was guided down a particular path because of their family or community or what they just believed around you know in terms of what life should look like and family dynamics and relationships so maybe like um they always thought and have believed that they're very very conventional and traditional and they want you know uh, one partner you live together you get married you have kids whatever it is but there's actually something in them that rebels against that so it's almost like as much as they try to commit and be a good partner or spouse they end up self-sabotaging or doing something to hurt the other person because it's a part of them that as much as they want that stability they resent it and they want to be free um i don't know i don't know yeah i just think they they feel there's something about them that will hurt you again and it's almost like they're saying this is part of who i am whatever this thing is that hurts you Maybe they don't fully understand it, but yeah, see, look, commitment. I want you to be a part of my future, but at the same time, there's some sort of habit they have. And they could be saying the habit is they go all in into commitments, new commitments, and then they start to get, you know, restless and they start to feel tied down and they start to want to, you know, I don't know what it is, but then they do something to ruin it. Dishonesty, yeah, by lying, I ripped us apart. They could also have a false way of presenting themselves, which we already know in terms of um, their responsibilities or work and that sort of thing. Um, so maybe they have a habit of 
morphing themselves into whoever they're currently speaking with to say look at us aren't we compatible then they get into a commitment then they show who they really are because over time they can't keep up that lie and then the their former dishonesty starts to you know rip the relationship apart um maybe that's a, you know that's that's a habit they've got to change unsatisfied i wasn't happy the way things were going well, you, you know, you wouldn't be happy if you get into a commitment based on a false version of yourself because you're not in that commitment being accepted for who you are. You're in that commitment playing a role. And that's going to feel lonely. You're going to get bored of that. You're not going to be having your needs met. And I'm not specifically talking about you here. I'm just thinking more generally. I think this might be someone who goes around into different situations and shapes themselves to fit in with those situations and at the core feels misunderstood and alone but maybe isn't taking enough responsibility for the fact that of course they're alone because people can only connect with what they're putting out there and if what they're putting out there isn't true people can't connect with them see disagreements i wish you understood how i feel see exactly but how are you supposed to understand if they hide it all the time maybe you understand intuitively um but i don't know even if you went to this person you said look intuitively i'm picking up such and such a they might be like you sound crazy i don't know it depends <laughs> b um you know if they haven't chosen to put it out there they might pull further back and, and feel too seen you know in a way that makes them feel afraid so i don't know holding back yep i should have expressed myself better yeah wow and that's underneath commitment and then escape i left when things got hard this is it this is someone who presents you know like let's say we meet someone new we're dating of course you're not you know you're going to put your best foot forward presumably if you actually <laughs> care or are interested but you're not going to completely fake your identity and who you are I mean, some people do, and it never works out well. And that's what I'm seeing here. It's like a lot of what they put out there, they put out depending on who they are talking to, whether it's a romantic interest, friends, family, and they, at the core, always feel unseen because they are unseen. What's being seen is this projection. And then, you know, after time goes on and the real them starts to come out, and then obviously there's tension and stress because this other person is like, who are you? You know, what's going on? Um, it's like they want to pull away, they want to escape because things are getting difficult. But I also feel even that aside, there's something about maybe how they've been doing commitments that has them feeling on the one hand, yes, this is what I need. I get my safety from this and I, I feel this is something that aligns with me. But then on the other hand, they start to feel like this is holding me back. This is limiting me. Um, and then they pull away they do things to, to break their commitments apart and this could be someone who's fallen out with a lot of friends as well even okay let's get one more reveal i want to tell you the truth it's wow that's that's pretty big this is someone who is wanting to reveal their true selves um to you and as i said this is this is not something they do um, but they have been thinking about you, looking at how you live, taking inspiration from you, um, self-reflecting, you know, based on the fact that you seem genuinely emotionally happy and good and they are not and, and asking questions, you know, why do I feel this way? Why do I have the things I want to? But, you know, all, that, all of that stuff. And they're getting to a point where they're actually saying, maybe I should, maybe it's safe to, maybe I can reveal my true self to you. Um, wow, okay. So let's get some final messages from this deck and then we'll see what Spirit has to say about this. What I, you know, I've got to say, there is still some pride and ego attached to this person. And um, you might know that they have been in the past pretty judgmental, whether it's to, towards you, towards other people. I think they're still trying to push through, you know, some of that. Um, it could even, wow, maybe if they come towards you, they get to have this unusual or unconventional un, um, commitment with you, whatever that means, whatever that looks like, you know, as far as in their mind, their experiences, it's unconventional. And that would align with them. That would satisfy that they want to be with you. They want commitment, but also this desire to, I don't know, have this freedom. And freedom could just mean 
the freedom to be who they truly are, you know, not to, to fake an identity. They could be that with you. But people outside will judge or have something to say. Um, so a few examples could be there's an age gap between you. It could be it's the same. It would be if you get together a same sex relationship. It could be that it's not um, it's a relationship with more than just two people involved. Whatever it is, it's almost like deep down they're thinking, would this be the answer? Because I haven't been happy so far with everything else I've tried. But I know other people would have something to say. And my pride doesn't like that. My ego doesn't like that. OK, I'm sorry I held myself back with you. It could also be maybe you make more money than them or something. You know, it really depends on what their life experiences have been and their view of the world and what they consider to be um, normal and conventional. I need to go my own way for a while. You are irreplaceable. I feel a special bond with you that I've never felt before. So if they did go their own way or there's been a separation or something, they could definitely have realized during this time that they always come back to you, they always think of you, that they haven't been able to move on from you in the way maybe they always have with other people. I wish I had told you how much you really meant to me. I feel damaged, like I just can't do this. I'm working towards a better future and we have, I see a little part of you in everyone I meet. Okay, let's get some messages for you from um, Spirit around this situation, this connection. Okay, imagine all unwanted thoughts dis dissolving into light, creating room for new opportunities and possibilities for your life. So this could be maybe a healing meditation, um, being able to perhaps reconcile some things that have happened, especially, you know, the Eight of Swords, if that is you overthinking or, you know, thinking the same things over and over um, and, and opening up room for new opportunities because Spirit has things lined up for you. And this can definitely be an opportunity within this connection, as this is what I'm pulling messages about. Or it could be um, anything else in your life, you know, career, um, abundance in general, health, fitness, whatever it is. OK, let's see. What else do we have? And I want this one too. Okay, so we have forgiveness. Yeah, stop focusing your energy on past events for life is too precious to waste. You create your reality by what you think, dream and imagine. So um, this is a good time to release and forgive, not for anyone else, but for you, because there are new things actually that are lined up and waiting to come into your reality. You may not always understand why certain things happen. However, there is always a higher purpose to the events in your life through turmoil, a blessing will soon be revealed. So one of the things trying to come in could be um, understanding a new perspective that will really soothe and ease your feelings and your mind. You know, oh, I get why this happened. I'm not so angry. I'm not raging against it now. It doesn't feel so unfair. Oh, I can see, you know, the wisdom I've gained. Um, could be that something you know literally in the physical will change for you but yeah this, this feels like a message around releasing if you can't get closure from this person or another person giving it to yourself and making room for new things it could be new new starts in this connection um it could be as i said anything else new that wants to come into your life but like, the message here from spirit is really about trying to um self self soothe self-soothe, soothe, yeah, I think I said that right, through um, just coming to terms with things and first of all accepting certain things have happened the way they have and, um, you know, trying to transmute that energy to release, to forgive, as I said, all for you, primarily for you, not for anybody else. Because I clearly see, you know, through turmoil, a blessing will soon be revealed. There is something or several things here wanting to line up with you. Okay, so I will leave this here. Thank you so much for watching. I hope it resonated. I hope it helped and I will see you soon. Bye.